Hi, everybody. Are you there? Uh, we want to welcome you to Granite State Cabinetry's webinar. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, today, we have a great presentation for you all. And I just wanted to start with um, some housekeeping issues. I know some of you might be new to Zoom, as are we. We are. Um, so I wanted to make sure everybody can find the little area where it says participants and then the more button. Um, so on that more button, if you were to hit that, it's three little dots. It then allows you to press on chat. And that's where we'll be looking throughout this webinar for any questions you might have. Um, the whole presentation today is to be fun and inviting and also a great representation of what our company does and how we do it. Um, so feel free to ask questions as they arise. It will make um, the presentation that much more involved. So I want to introduce myself. My name is Sue Cannon. I have been working with Granite State Cabinetry for the past 13 years, and we love what we do. Um, I am the sales arm for Granite State Cabinetry. Um, so I meet each and every customer, and I partner you with um, one of our talented designers. So I have uh, kind of the great, great job, too, of um, initiating you all to our business and, and what we do. So today we're gonna to walk you through that. Um, I wanna introduce Frank Morris and Jamie. Uh, Frank is with Granite State Cabinetry and he'll fill you in a little bit about himself. Um, one of the principal owners of Granite State Cabinetry. And today we're also uh, blessed to have Jamie with us from Pella Doors and Windows. So you will also learn um, everything you didn't know about Pella um, and you're in for a nice treat, Frank. Great, thanks Sue. Hi everybody, welcome to our webinar and thanks for taking time to join us. Um, we are going to start off, let's make sure that I can do this here. Yes, all right. So I'm gonna show you a picture of our um, entrance to our showroom, which is unfortunately closed, but hopefully open very soon so that we can see your faces in the showroom rather than online. But right now we're doing it online and that's okay. So um, this is the entrance. Granite State Cabinetry is on the left and Pella Windows and Doors is on the right. And we share a building in here on Route 101 in Bedford. A little bit about Granite State Cabinetry. We're a locally family owned business for over 25 years. Um, I'm second generation ownership with my brother. We offer a complete in-house talented design, installation and project management team. And all together, we have over a hundred years of combined kitchen experience and we've completed over a thousand projects. These pictures popping up are team members of our valuable team here that um, all work hard and work together to get your projects accomplished. So without them we would be nothing. What we do, we design beautiful living spaces and this um, webinar is very much a picture webinar because we love pictures of kitchens and baths and other spaces. Um, but when I say beautiful living spaces, obviously that means a kitchen, but it also means a bathroom, it means a powder room, it means a bar, it means a library, an office, a laundry room. Uh, we've done garages, we've done, um, you name it, we've probably done it. Um, so we definitely design more than kitchens. Um. We specify kitchen and bathroom cabinets, countertops, hardware, tile, flooring, and plumbing fixtures. So what that means is um, we've been working with these manufacturers of these great products for over 25 years. Our designers know them inside and out. We know that they are really well-made products that we buy and we install in your home. And we know that they provide a great value for any projects that we complete. On each of these slides, I'll just interject with some fun features. Um, this countertop, which looks like wood, is actually a granite material. So the granite comes from the earth, a natural product, but how gorgeous does that look and looks like a fine crafted wood countertop, but wears well and easy to clean too. Very nice, I love that. 
we plan the entire project. So by planning, um, we work, we're very flexible in how we work. So we could install cabinets and countertops in your home and have you handle the rest of the work. You could hire a contractor and we could install the cabinets and counters for the co contractor and yourself. Or you can hire us to do the entire project where we come in and um, got the room and put it all back together. And we execute the plan and manage the transformation of your home. And that is probably one of the most difficult but uh, rewarding things that we do here. And it takes a lot of work and coordination by our team and uh, we're able to pull it off successfully. Yeah, and on this island, you see one of our favorite trends, which is a new navy blue finish. It's really a signature blue and it was chosen by the homeowner and uh, obviously makes a great statement to that crisp white kitchen. Love the gold hardware. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me three. Yes. <laughs> Finally, we celebrate the completion of your dream, whether it be a kitchen or bathroom. This, we're showing a fantastic kitchen we just recently completed in Litchfield. Great backsplash tile there. Nice yep. and new finishes. And then we didn't do that backsplash everywhere so that it would look like a focal point for that range and that range wall. And you see to the right more of a country looking backsplash with a beadboard. So we'll, we'll um, take you through our process and I'll let Sue talk about our exact process. Um, sure. Um, so it's, it's super easy and over probably the last 10 years time, we've integrated all of the suggestions from our customers. So it's a collaboration um, of how we do business now, both virtually as well as when we're working in the showroom. So our initial consult consultation now is done virtually, of course. Um, and I have you send me just a few um, pictures of your existing space. So you see there we have two different, you know, kitchens. Thankfully, we've renovated both of those kitchens. Um, but that is what we see initially. So it kind of allows us to start the conversation of saying, you know, how do you feel about that tile floor? Are you thinking you might change the tile? And in this case, the answer was yes. Um, how are you feeling about a peninsula? You know, do you want to keep a peninsula or are you thinking you might just prefer a nice L-shaped kitchen and forgo that wall of, of cabinets? We're often talking about the window application and Jamie will talk to you further about that, but um, those initial kitchen pictures speak a thousand words to us. Um, we're also talking about your appliances at this point. Um, so Frank's just flashing up some resources to see some of our work. And why this is important to you is um, every customer usually finds us from either the internet and browsing on house or the internet and finding us through our website. We have a great portfolio of work on our website, talks about our process. So if you forget any of the details from today's webinar, you can easily log on to our website. And then House is, I don't know if anybody uses TripAdvisor when they travel, but House is like TripAdvisor for home improvement projects. You're able to see all of our beautiful work. And the best feature of House, I think, is that our customers go on and give a candid review of how we did. So they might tell you that they visited three places and that they shopped the competition and they might tell you why they chose us and how we fulfilled our obligate obligation with them. So some of our best work is on house and we have about I think 122 reviews on house which is tremendous in our industry. So I'll brag a little bit about that. Um, Facebook of course we post almost daily to Facebook the bottom right picture is our team today. They are actually installing a kitchen at Rattlesnake Island. It's a second home of a customer of ours and he is the boat driver and our entire crew is there installing um, all of those cabinets today. We had to wait for a nice day without much wind. Um, so our, our team is installing each and every day even during um, these times. 
So check out our social websites. So yes, they're fun. So um, I'll talk about existing the, this, uh, changing the existing space. So oftentimes you either need to decide whether you're gonna keep within the existing walls or you're going to expand into other spaces by removing the walls. So this is a before and after of the exact same kitchen. Left hand side, um, you see where that wall with the refrigerator is on. Um, what we did was we took that wall down. It actually did have a pass through, but we took that wall down completely so that the island could literally triple in size. And um, this is definitely a trend that we're seeing today. Everybody wants the wall down between the kitchen and the dining room because di formal dining rooms are kind of going away. Um, and we're seeing that as a, as a trend. Um, windows and doors, as we're gonna hear in a second from Jamie, is also something we're changing. I just wanna point out the window in the before versus the after, much larger, comes down to the countertop. And speaking of windows and doors, before I hand it over to Jamie, I'll show one more before and after. So this is um, an opportune time, if you're remodeling your kitchen, to get a bigger window or change the style of the window. So in this case, not only did we go taller, but we went wider and it went down to the countertop. It stayed a casement window, which you'll learn what a casement window is in a second, but this is the time to make the window change. We got the room and it's just so easy and um, more affordable actually to do it now as well. Yeah, and what a great transformation this is. This is a great picture in that many people come to us with this layout, this L-shaped layout with maybe kind of a odd configuration of appliances. You see there, their small range is in the center of their small island. So it was great for us to be able to use our expertise to get that range wall or that cooktop over on a wall where it made a bigger presence and obviously elevate all of the cabinetry to forego that plaid soffit that was there previously and nice. make a bigger space and a workstation where that kitchen sink is now. Yeah. And now you can see because um, Jamie's team lowered the window that they can see outside even if they're my height at only 5'4". Um, so just a few little nuances obviously make that space spectacular. And that's what we can do for you too. Yeah. Well, without further ado, um, we'll hand this over to Jamie. And I have to apologize um, for you guys not being able to see Jamie's face. Um, again, we're learning Zoom and I'm learning the ins and outs of this and we don't know why Jamie's not showing up. but. She can hear you and she's going to um, give you a brief rundown on Pella windows and doors. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, I'm so sorry, you guys. I came out of my cave. I did my hair for you, my makeup for you, but you know, <laughs> I'll have to entice you about windows and doors with just my voice. So hopefully, I, hopefully I can do that for you. Um, Frank, are you going to be my Vanna White for me and, and click through the slides? Um, I have a, uh, I think you can do this. So if you, whoops, oh, if you, um, on the top, you see remote control, I'm going to give you remote control. All right. Did that work? I don't know. Um... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me see. We, see, we are going to do it, Zoom, everybody. Okay. You should have remote control. I can control your screen. Well, would you look at that? Okay. So on the bottom left, the arrows will sh will show as you can go forward. And I and I went ahead too far. There we go. Okay. Let's you see. All right. Let's see if I can do this, guys. Uh, well, first and foremost, I want to say hi to everybody. Um, I want to thank Grand State Cabinetry for having me. Um, it's so awesome to have neighbors like them, and I'm sure I speak for the entire Pella company uh, when, I can, when I say that. It's great to be able to partner up um, with them and create such awesome content like what you're going to see today and those beautiful pictures of those kitchens. So, um, you know, really happy to be here. With that being said, I'd like to officially introduce myself, and I'm sorry you guys can't see me. Um, 
But my name is Jamie Seiler. I am the regional shelter manager for Pella Windows and Doors of New England. I have been with the company for four years and my current role in the company, um, basically what I do is oversee our four beautifully renovated showrooms in New Hampshire and Maine. I do all the event planning for the showrooms and I lead in high level product walkthroughs with customers, architects, builders, you name it. Um, first, I wanna talk about the history of Pella. Being one of the top tier window and door companies in the nation, we are backed by the success of a long lasting corporation. And you'll see in that picture up at the top, um, that's Pella Corp, which is located in Pella, Iowa. That is one of our factories and also our home base, which is where some of our product is made. All of our product is made in the U.S. We just have factories um, across the U.S. The company started in 1925, and to much of people's surprise, Pella actually began as a roll screen company, which you'll see is still tied into our product offering today, which I'll talk about a little bit later in this presentation. So get excited because we got a lot of a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, over the years, Pella has opened a total of 70 branches nationwide. So they're either privately owned or owned by Pella Corp. Our branch, which is known as um, Pella New England, which serves Maine and New Hampshire, we became our own branch a little over a year ago, January of 2019, and we've been growing ever since. So. Pella New England is owned and operated as a family-owned, community-based model. We're a small group of 40 individuals who make up many different facets of the company. You know, we, we bring so many different amazing backgrounds and strengths to the table, and that's really what makes Pella New England who we are. Um, we actually have some Pella celebs that are present in this webinar. Um, we have our architectural consultant, we have marketing, and we actually have um, our local brand ambassadors for the uh, Bedford, New Hampshire location. Um, no, no pressure, Jamie. No pressure though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also want to talk about the different divisions. So we're a sales and service company, of course. Um, and within that, we have a couple di different divisions. So we have our commercial division. They serve at like a higher volume. So meaning we sell to entire commercial buildings and businesses like hotels, large condos, hotels, you know, of the sort. Um, we also have a retail side of the business, which is actually, I was a retail sales rep. And uh, what they do is done through, kind of similar to you guys, we do, a, we do an in-home consultation as well. Um, we go out to the house and then the sales rep will sell the product, including our installation. And then of course we have trade. So this is where the sales rep works directly with the contractor or GC. And basically the contractor GC purchases the product from us and then they install themselves. And then I talked about um, having an architectural consultant handy on this here. Um, but what they do is basically they play a huge role in assisting trade reps that work on, you know, set of plans for new builds and renovations. They're also specialized in highly engineered based product knowledge, construction, and then of course your, your mandated codes and restrictions. And we'll see if I can do this uh, changing of the slides here. Nope. Yeah, have to make, let me see. All right, see the arrow on the bottom left? There you go, you got it, nailed it. Oh, sweet guys, all right, we got it. Um, so how does Pella take all of these products and um, differentiate us in the market. So there are roughly 9,000 window companies in the U.S., uh, but the reason why Pella Windows and Doors is top five, and that's because of what we offer. So working directly with Pella, like us, you get experience like no other, and I'm talking features. So as I mentioned earlier, Pella began as a roll screen company. But what we created in 2017 was revolutionary. So we have this architecturally driven integrated roll screen. So what that means is, um, and I don't know if you guys can see my cursor here as I circle over the left side of the screen, but on that left side is the integrated roll screen. It's a screen mounted on the top and bottom sash of our reserved traditional double hung window you can see how it moves. So um, on a casement window, you can get a roll screen that sits at the top of your window. 
So let's say, you know, you're doing dishes in your brand new kitchen that was just renovated by Granite State and you're watching your kids play outside. You have this amazing uninterrupted view with the ability to hide the screen when you don't need it. Um, same thing, obviously, as you see with this double hung, it's completely hidden. We also offer blinds between the glass or shades, and that's through what's called our Lifestyle Series Triple Pane Casement. So this allows you to get privacy when you want it without the hassle of having to buy custom window treatments. Um, we also have a catalog of scenescape doors. So those are seen on the right side. I realize now you probably can't see me moving my cursor, so I'm just doing it to myself. These are specialty doors that um, have really expansive views and they really integrate that whole indoor outdoor lifestyle, which you see obviously more in like California in the warmer climates, but we do a lot of these in our lakes region. Um, they basically slide entirely into each side or they'll slide right into the wall. So let's say Granite State Cabinetry gives you your new beautiful kitchen, we install your new beautiful windows, and what you get is the protection of a lifetime warranty against your wood interior and your aluminum clad exterior. So there's no other window and door company that offer you the catalog and the warranty that we do. So let's see. I wanna see if this video will work for you guys. There we go. So just to show you a real life operation of the roll screen, you notice that it's hidden in the sash and then it's rolled away when you don't want it. They're tilting it in there for cleaning so you still have that feature. And then when you're ready to operate and vent your window, the roll screen is there. Um, you know, protects against bugs, gives you that peace of mind. And of course this um, style, so the roll screen is available in a double hung casement and sliding patio doors. All right, so replacing your windows and doors is an intricate part of your home renovation. I know um, I have some pictures here for you of some kitchens. So how each window is built is really different and really custom to your needs. So specifically, um, as you kind of saw earlier, a lot of outdated homes will have double hung windows above their sink. This can make it difficult to operate because you actually have to reach over the sink and lift the window up. So there's also that center bar that runs across, which is called a check rail, and that tends to disrupt your view. So if you're like me and you're five feet, you know, the check rail doesn't really do much for you, but typically people are taller than that. And you're gonna be looking right at that check rail when you're doing your dishes and you're looking out. Um, or maybe you have a window with this huge mullion in the center. So most homeowners are gonna want a casement or a large awning above their sink because these are what's going to be what allows your window to truly have an uninterrupted view. And you also get the ease of operation. So we use what's called a fold away crank that requires little to no effort when you're opening. So when looking at your reno, you may also want to bring your window down to the counter or at height for more light, right? So um, maybe you're looking for more visible glass. We have a lot of different lines and features that can help you accomplish Pretty much any look that you're trying to bring into your remodel. So these pictures show how you can incorporate a casement window into your kitchen. Um, so casements, windows, they open out um, when you have a single, a two wide, which is what you see on, the, on that right side there. Um, they open against each other typically, or you can have a few that run across the wall, which is what you see on the left. Our wood clad windows is what we do best because they offer the most versatile features and window combinations that fit any style home. So let's visualize your new windows. Oh. Sorry, is it me that keeps doing that? <laughs> I think, I don't know. So sorry guys. Um, so here, um, we have your interior color options. So you'll notice we have some really modern color palettes because obviously they are pretty popular right now. So you notice some black stain, we have some gray stain, some gray color, paint, white. Um, these are typically the colors that we see most homeowners picking out right now. Truly what's in, what's in style. We also of course have more traditional color options. You'll notice the more um, traditional earthy tones to it. Um, 
And then of course you have your exterior colors. So again, of course, that modern color palette, really popular. You have the grays, the blacks. As you can see though, there's um, a lot of different options for you. Depending on what series and style, you have up to 27 color options to choose from. So wow. lot going on here. All right. So just to give you guys some visuals, um, here you see an example of, you know, what kind of styles you have as options. So all the way to the left, you have that window with that shade between the glass. So it gives you plenty of privacy. That middle window, you know, some nice black interior. Give your house a nice pop if you want to add a more modern look. Or, you know, let's say you have lighter walls. Maybe you have black kitchen hardware that you want to tie these details together, which you can do that through a window. Um, you can also add grills, which are also known as muntins. Many different people call them many different things. Um, that's what you see on the right. So you'll notice, you know, that, that really thin style, which is when, when we talk about styles in the window industry, we talk about uh, actual frame. So really thin frame with those grills gives that space a really modern farmhouse look, which is also really popular right now. Then we have another really farmhouse, modern farmhouse feel. You notice the um, farm sink. So you have that beautiful casement window. It goes pretty far down on the counter, just to give you an idea of one going closer. Um, then, of course, you have that um, large four wide slider with those windows above to really let in some light. And then on the bottom right hand corner, you notice this is actually a fixed window. So this window doesn't open, but it allows a lot of light to come through. And you'll notice it's a little bit farther down, um, closer to the counter as well. Another. Oh, sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, Technology is only good when you want it to work, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to point out some other styles for you guys to consider. Um, top left-hand corner, you'll see these windows above the door, above the, above the window itself. Those are what we call transoms. So those are fixed units that sit above a venting or another fixed unit. But they just add another, um, another way to let light in in your home, make it feel nice and bright and airy. Um, you have a casement window above the sink, which is the top right. You have an awning on the bottom right. These are two different types of, of windows typically we see above sink. So that bottom right hand corner is a large awning. And that is, you know, again, not entirely down to the counter, but, you know, pretty, pretty close. And then casements, which open out. Awnings are basically a casement on its side. And then of course, on the bottom left hand side, my dream home, the modern contemporary kitchen, you'll notice that's a complete fixed unit. So it's called what we call a combination window. So you have a combination of smaller, um, thinner windows and they also go all the way down to the counter. So you get full view, you know, straight through. There's no wall that's visible on that side. Nice. And there we go. All right, so um, in 2019, so Pella New England, what we did was we rebranded our showrooms. We created four beautiful new spaces. One, of course, uh, brand new Bedford, New Hampshire. We have one in Meredith, one in Newington, um, Scarborough, Maine. And basically they are what showcase all of the amazing collection of windows and doors um, and really a customer experience like no other. So. Uh, we decided to open a brand new showroom locally to the greater Manchester area community. And now we have our gorgeous uh, Bedford location that's right next to Grand State, which you actually saw um, our front door in that picture in the beginning. So thanks for that free marketing, Frank. Uh, and uh, they also just did some beautiful renovations to their showroom. So also really excited, you know, for everybody to be able to see what we have going on over there. Um, of course. Great. To the, to the current pandemic, it's probably no surprise to you all to hear uh, that our showroom is currently closed. Um, but we do look forward to seeing you in our showroom once we're back up and running. Uh, we'd love to help you with your window and door project. 
In the meantime, of course, you can talk to our Bedford brand ambassadors who are available over the phone. And um, I provided their number on the, on the screen there. Um, but we are offering virtual appointments to anybody who wants to get the ball rolling on their window replacement project that our brand ambassadors can you know, help you set up with. But um, if you're like me and you love looking inside other people's homes, you can follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn to see more pictures like you saw today. Uh, we also give updates on, you know, what's happening in the biz, so you can always stay in the loop with us. And of course, you know, visit our, our newly updated website, Browse Products. You can see all the updates, you can see showroom information there. So um, I'd love to open the floor for some dialogue. If, uh, you know, if I can enter an answer any questions you may have, um, I open it up to see if anybody has any window or door questions. There is a um, question and answer button at the uh, on your screen. So if there are any questions that come up, um, just you can just type them right in there. You know what, Frank? We do have a question before Jamie began yep. from Denise. If we could go back to the last um, picture we showed of a kitchen. Sure. Um, Denise has asked, "Where did the fridge go?" Which is a good question. Um, it went to the far right of that Where? space adjacent to the cooktop. But Frank Where is will get this? back to it. I'll tell oh, you. This. There we go. So if you see um, across from the sink on the right hand side, you can see the doors of the new counter depth refrigerator. It just got tucked right inside, right before the entrance to their dining room. But great question. And we did tuck it away so that you could almost not see the refrigerator. Yeah. Um, all awesome. right. So, Jamie, thank you so much. We appreciate all your insight. Um, yes, thank you. You were a wealth of knowledge, and I'm sure you look adorable, too. We're sorry we didn't get to see you. <laughs> thank we'll you. Figure, we'll figure it out. Thank you, Jamie. I want that thank roll you. screen in my house. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Let me tell you. That yeah. thing is, is amazing. Yeah, I got to see that in, in real life. Yeah. Come on down. So Frank, maybe you can walk us through the different trends and sure. uh, different styles of kitchens. Sure. Um, so part of that um, initial consultation that's, that you have with, with us or Sue, um, we talk about styles and what you're looking for and what appeals to you. So we have a modern style. Jamie would like that one on the left, right, Jamie? Yes. Like you know me so well. Yeah, <laughs> but there's no window. I don't see a window. Um, well, we'll make oh. it work. I'll bust through that backsplash, sorry. <laughs> um, modern is definitely, uh, we're seeing an uptick in it. Uh, modern farmhouse is another combination style that we're seeing popularity rise in. And that's yeah. what's featured on the right. Yep, and just kind of little teeny nuances that give great character is the natural wood shelves and the natural wood beam. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. kind of making it have more character and making it speak to you so that it doesn't look like anyone else's kitchen. In both of these kitchens, floating shelves are visible and we yep. see floating shelves everywhere. They're great. They're a nice touch. Craftsman is a style and traditional is a style, both not as popular as today, but still styles that we do. Yeah, and sometimes people come in with a traditional home and they, they may not love traditional looks still, so they kind of toggle over to transitional looks, which is what Frank is showing now. The transitional is kind of a nice segue and a nice in-between. Yeah. All right. So, so what are some other things that we talk about? Yeah, so just to touch on countertops. So Again, at your initial appointment, we're kind of walking you through what kind of cabinetry you might like, whether you want painted or wood stain, what style of door that you might be um, interested in. And then of course, the next question is countertop application. There's a lot of information out there about countertops. We sell all different varieties. So we sell granite as well as quartz, as well as wood countertops. So we touch upon this in the showroom, but actually our design team takes you to see full slabs of your material before you choose it. Um, so it's a great use of time and obviously their expertise to kind of zero in on your wish list to get just the right countertop for you um, and your family and your cooking style. 
Um, so it's a, it's a fun application. The very next thing we talk about is appliances. So we know, you know, we started off talking about what we like and what we don't like of your original kitchen. And then kind of what kind of cabinets and countertop application are you thinking for your new kitchen? And the very next thing we talk about is appliances. So oftentimes many people, when they're going from their present kitchen to their new kitchen, they might have had a range and now they want a cooktop with wall ovens to kind of make it feel like they have more cooking capacity. Um, and a lot of times people are also changing from a 30 inch range style to a 36 inch range or they're looking for, instead of a big refrigerator, they might want a shallower refrigerator and counter depth, but yet have it go a little taller so that we can um, kind of make that fridge disappear like we did in that earlier space. So appliances are a big piece of our puzzle because they're big boxes that take up a lot of space. And we wanna make sure, two to mention Barron's major brands in Manchester, they're a partner of ours. Um, specifically, we work with Ross Ewald over at Barron's. So an hour with Ross is always time well spent. Before you're in your car, he has sent over to our team exactly what you're thinking about, whether you're thinking about a range and wall ovens or a cooktop and a counter depth refrigerator. So those are all the building blocks that we're able to design your new space with. Um, this screen is awesome because now the kitchen sink is the most used appliance in your home. They're not called sinks anymore. They're called workstations. Um, so workstations can have a ton of different features integrated in them. They have taco bar accessories. They have cutting boards. They have um, just everything that you can think of to provide another big work area for you so that more can be done in that kitchen sink. And we have a great new display at Granite State Cabinetry with six new workstations and how they can complement your kitchen and your working style. Exciting, exciting trends. That pot filler is gorgeous. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So more things that we help with. So again, after our initial meeting, I'm kind of partnering you with one of our fabulous designers. They all have 10 plus years experience designing. And actually we have a full female team of designers. So what they help with is they partner with you to make sure that no stone is left unturned to, for example, picking a backsplash. You see on the left, we have a beautiful mosaic um, centerpiece of marble, and that's um, married with a nice, beautiful subway marble backsplash. So the designer took many steps with this customer to kind of get to the bottom of exactly what her vision was for the kitchen. And some people come in without a vision and need our design team to drive the bus. So they are good either way. Um, I can't speak more highly enough about our design team. They just hit it out of the park. Um, Frank is gonna show you in some upcoming slides um, all of their handiwork, but I'm happy to report they're not only a great group and a talented group of players, but they will absolutely make your dream come to life. What is driving my project cost? So I love cars, so I'm gonna use a car analogy here. So um, we'll talk about what kitchen remodels cost. 2020 Audi A5, the, the MSRP on this is 42.9. On the right, I have a 2020 Audi RS5. These are pretty much the same cars and most people probably wouldn't tell the difference just by looking at it quickly, but if you look at the sales price on it, it's quite considerable in difference. So, you know, they're, they're very similar, but they're very different in details. There's $36,000 difference between each car. So the one on the left is kind of your um, run-of-the-mill typical 
options. The one on the right is probably got some crazy interior, crazy engine performance details. But the point of this analogy is you can buy very similar products that do essentially the same thing and spend very, very different amounts. So the product selections that we have in our showroom have tremendous impact on our cost of the overall project. So I can fill one room of cabinetry with uh, approximately $34,000 of product. And I can fill a similar room with almost double the price. So um, the, the point of this is to, to allow you to understand that we can, we can vary greatly in price depending on your selections of products. So um, the kitchen on the left, for example, is a medallion kitchen. Medallion is a brand that we sell. Um, it, in terms of our price scale, it's, it's probably at the lower end of our price entry level product. It's certainly not an entry level product in terms of quality or value or options. It's a great cabinet made in Minnesota. Um, and they offer some great colors and door styles and features that really the high end brands do too. Um, but I'll give you some examples in both of these pictures. Um, the hood on the left is a stainless hood. The hood on the right is a wood hood. So when you purchase a wood hood, you're generally spending a little bit more money because you're buying a wood hood plus a, a blower unit that goes up inside that. Um, your, your ceiling height is a big difference as well. So the kitchen on the left has a lower ceiling, therefore lower cost. And the, seal, the kitchen on the right has a higher ceiling and higher costs. Um, product style, so cabinet style. Um, the kitchen on the right, the more expensive one, is an inset kitchen with a painted finish with a glaze. You, it's hard to see the glaze in this picture, but you know when we glaze a cabinet, that adds another step and it adds more cost to the product. Um, the way our appliances are integrated into the um, cabinetry can affect costs. So there are literally a, a list of many, many factors that can affect project cost. We have partnered with manufacturers of, that make cabinets that offer many different steps of cost. So we have from an entry level all the way up to a very high-end luxury cabinet. Um, we try to cover all budgets for kitchen remodeling and we feel like we have a pretty good product lineup to do that. Sue, what does the price include? Yeah, so um, if we were in the showroom, I would use my hands in this analogy. So I'm gonna attempt to do that here to make it simple for everybody. Um, so on this hand, we do this work 100% of the time. So that's cabinetry, countertops, sink faucet, hardware, and installation. So Granite State Cabinetry does that all the time. Sometimes people come in and also need demo and removal and flooring and plumbing and electrical and drywall and lots of other things can be added to this hand. So we are very candid about the fact that the reason we're used for this hand all the time is because this hand can get costly. Granite State Cabinetry is very good at this hand, but our essence is for us to come into your work, manage, schedule, and warranty all these folks. It, it does become more expensive for us to do that rather than you to do it yourself. So in that first meeting, we uncover um, if you need us to do this hand. Um, and also by the end of that first appointment too, I'm able to give you a really good ballpark of price for all the things that you've explained that you might wanna do with our team and without our team. So what we bring to the table is obviously a great cr crew of folks. We have two of everyone. We have two plumbers, two electricians, two drywallers, two uh, demo guys. They bring to the table a, an amazing level of expertise. So we can't just have any plumber or any electrician enter your home. They're the best of the best. And with that, of course, comes a higher price point. But in addition, you have a project manager from our team who is managing, scheduling, and warranting those folks in your home. So it's a nice, tight window 
of renovation. So you're not only getting a fabulous team, but you're also going to be without a kitchen for less time. So you don't have to use us for everything. It's your choice. And we get into on the first appointment kind of what you need us for, what you don't need us for, a ballpark of if we did everything or if we just did this hand. Um, we try and make it as simple as possible um, so that you can really understand how the process works. And oftentimes some people say, you know, I've been a project manager at work for 20 years. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think I can manage my own people. I have a plumber I like, I have an electrician I like. Those are the people who we feel comfortable can handle that on their own. And they work backwards from our install date to get all of those things achieved. And for the most part, it works out just fine. Um, and there, the very next customer might come in and say, oh, gee, Sue, I've had a plumber that, you know, never showed up when I thought he would and an electrician who never calls me back. And I don't, I probably could take out my own cabinets, but man, it might take me forever. My wife would prefer I didn't do any of this. Those are the people who need Granite State Cabinetry's expertise from start to finish. Um, so although it might be more expensive for us to do it, it takes all of the worry and guesswork off your plate um, so that you can do the jobs that you do well. Hopefully that explains it. All right, so the fun part. After that initial consultation, we get a good grasp on what you're doing. Our designers go hard to work and they put together our storyboard. So this is a real storyboard that we've put together for a customer and I'll, I'll give you an example of their entire process. So right now we're looking at what we've selected here in the showroom. And even though we're not in the showroom necessarily, we can still make product selections and color selections. We take all of those products that we, that we chose and we put them into the computer and we are able to show you these are real computer renderings of an actual kitchen that we remodeled. So these pictures are as realistic as they can get um, showing you what your new space will look like. And it includes details such as the cabinet style, the color, um, the stools, even uh, you can even put windows and certain furniture and wallpaper in and flooring. And I mean, it's, it's really accurate as to based on, to give you an idea of what you're looking at when it's completed. And try if you can to make a mental snapshot of these images so that when Frank shows you the actual kitchen, you can go, oh my gosh, how amazing. So these are before and afters of that job that I just showed you. Wow. Quite a transformation. <laughs> this yeah. is where we usually get a few questions. So I just wanna check. Yeah, these are pretty amazing. Great. Um, before and afters. Oh, too funny. So just to, to speak to Pella, someone said, um, no questions, but I want that screen. I love those windows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, the, the um, girls are pretty awesome. Yeah, and um, Frank, someone asked about um, sealing the granite countertops, if you want to talk to that end. Oh, good and question. A, a lot of oh my goshes and how amazing. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that question, do you have to seal your granite? Um, our answer is no, you don't. Because when we install your granite, we seal it with a lifetime sealer before we even install it or bring it into your home. It's yeah. done in our fabrication plant and it's something you don't even have to worry about. So. And quartz is also already sealed from the manufacturer. So the, the sealing of long ago, having to seal your granite every year has gone away, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll go back to the finish, that one, that's a great picture. So this is the first rendering that Frank showed from our design team. Um, this is the actual kitchen that reflects that rendering. Pretty amazing. Another fun feature about this kitchen is you see how the backsplash tile goes up and all the way above the window wall. And it actually is also integrated into the window. So the backsplash actually is kind of, um, 
presented at the window seams too. Integrate right. integration of the beautiful refrigerator. Yep. Um, and With then the Frank panels. mentioned in an earlier photo, just the awesome champagne hardware um, is nice new trend and kind of fun. And there you see the blue on the island. Yep, I'll go back to oh. that. That's a better picture of yeah. the blue. So this is another before and after. These are, um, the befores are on the top and the afters are on the bottom and the shots um, mirror each other. So if we start on the left, you can see where the microwave is. We took that microwave down and expanded that wall that or the kitchen into the um, dining room behind it by removing that wall. And look at all those windows. Jamie, are you excited with all those windows? Yeah. That was I mean, nice. We added a lot of windows to this one. Nice. So, yeah, more floating shelves. Yeah, beautiful black walnut hood you yep. see in the far end of the picture. So. so how long does this take? Well, that's a great question. A lot of people ask. Depending on your project, we're typically in there for four to eight weeks if we do a full kitchen or bath remodel, and that means by gutting it and putting it back together. Um, while that time is, is um, being spent working, we also set up a temporary kitchen in your, in your house, wherever that may be. Sometimes it's the garage or a laundry room or a dining room or an unused living room. Um, we find a space for, for a refrigerator and if we can give you a sink, we'll give you a sink, but we try to make it as painless as possible for sure. Um, our guys are in there using flooring protection. We use HEPA filters to remove the dust. We use what we call zip walls to kind of uh, separate the work area to the living area if you're remaining in the house. Um, so there's a lot of precautions that our guys go into um, work every day. They know how to handle it and they know um, that you're living in there. So it's, uh, it, it works out really well. Oh, and we install windows, Jamie. <laughs> Look at that. Windows uh, a little late. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is kind of bringing our webinar to, to a wrap up here. But what, what's next? Some of you may be asking. We are going to have another webinar next Wednesday, again, at 3 and 7. Um, look for our information on that tomorrow. We're going to email it out. And it's going to be our design team that is going to talk to you more specifically about design trends, countertop choices, cabinet colors, cool accessories. Accessories uh, today are just awesome in, in every cabinet. Uh, workstations, Sue touched on it. We'll show you some real pictures of it. Technology in the kitchen, LED, light controlling um, appliances, and a lot more. So if you're interested, sign up for that one. Um, and that's wrapping it up. If there are any questions, we will, we will answer them or, or yeah, attempt to. Let's check here. Um, for us or for Jamie. But Not again, yet. everybody's saying great job and well done. Awesome, um, thank you guys. One of the things just to, to talk about for one second, and forgive me, I gotta get this chat guy down, um, is we are all working from home and all super busy because I think everybody is at home thinking, oh my gosh, I can't stand another minute in my kitchen. Um, so know that um, we are an essential business and our team is in the field each and every day. You just saw them today on Rattlesnake Island. So we are offering some great promotional sales through our vendors. So there's never a better time to act on a kitchen purchase. Um, the vendors are offering great incentives. Granite State Cabinetry is here and ready and willing to design beautiful spaces for you. Um, so we would love to hear from you. Um, the Granite State Cabinetry phone number is 603-472-4080. It actually rings here in my home, so I'll be on the other end of the phone. Um, and we really are grateful for your time today, and thank you so much for thinking about us when considering a kitchen renovation. Hey, Sue, I think um, on the Q&A, there's um, a couple of questions. That okay, have... let's see here. Uh, where did the fridge oh. go? There we go. In the fridge go. Um, <laughs> yep. Do cabinets have to touch the ceiling or is it okay if they are shorter? Um, so 
it, it's kind of a combination of things. Sometimes um, people want their new kitchen to look totally different from their old one. So if their cabinetry didn't go to the ceiling in their former kitchen, one of the things that we love to implement is to have the, the kitchen rise to make a more beautiful, more embellished look. I actually am looking to my kitchen. I did that in my own space. Um, it does add to the cost as Frank kind of touched on. So we're working with your budget at that point and, and hopeful we can bring the cabinets to the counter, but budget is a huge part of this equation. Um, and we have that budget conversation often and early so that we're always designing with your budget in mind. But that is a trend, um, Kelly, um, to go to the ceiling if we can. And we also use a two-piece crown molding to get to the ceiling so that it has a nice finished appearance when we get closer uh, to the top of the cabinet. All right, let's just check one more time, make sure we've got everybody covered. In the, in the Q&A, uh, how difficult is it to add a small window in my master bath shower? Ooh, that's a really good question. That's um, a good question. Well, to an um, a short answer to that is yes. Um, we have installed a lot of different of windows in a lot of different spaces. Um, I think the the short answer to that is as long as there's no serious construction going on or like electrical, which obviously you would not have in a bath shower. But um, I've I, we've installed through tile before. We've installed through wallpaper, you know, regular walls, um, brick. So it's definitely not difficult mm -hmm. for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, there's, there is some construction work that goes into it, but we definitely. Yep, definitely possible. We've, we've done oh, it. Oh yeah, anything's possible. Um, another, another question was um, if we could answer or cover more bath topics in, there, in our next webinar. And I think what we might do is have one specifically for baths yeah um it's it's hard for us to cover both we realize and we um, understand there are a lot of bath customers out there so i think be on the lookout uh for a bath webinar which we'll do soon all right thanks oh, everybody shit. thank you that's it let's just check one more time i got shannon asked if, do, if i wanted to make my kitchen window bigger what does that entail I guess that, that kind of goes back to that to that answer before. Um, as long as there's no electrical and serious construction, we can definitely do that. Um, you know, we, we've kind of done it all. We've, we've lowered openings, we've expanded openings, we've busted through walls to completely make new windows. We've made windows into doors and doors into windows. So that's kind of the fun part about construction is that you have the ability to kind of you know, kind of like uh, you dream it, we do it. <laughs> and that's what's yep. the most about our job. And I'm sure Frank and Sue can, can say that, you know, the more that you dream, the more fun it is because the end result is always going to be beautiful. So the nice thing about the kitchen and you saw pictures of those, of those renovations, um, you know, there is an ability to do a lot of, of different, different things with your window in your kitchen. And when you're renovating your kitchen, you do that with your windows. So Perfect. All right. Well, thanks everybody again. We'll look forward to seeing you at our next trends seminar, which would be kind of, this is Kitchen 101 and that'll be Trends 101, but you'll be able to see a whole new group of our team and also get some great ideas uh, with, with how our industry is trending. Thanks again. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Jamie. you. Bye now.